In today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the new functionality that has been introduced into Invent 2025. So previously, uh, when working with um, architectural models, you were only able to maybe bring in a step file or a Revit file um, or a DWG file. So in 2025, what we've introduced is the ability to import IFC files. So with our the new um, version over here, if I look at it, you can see there I've got a IFC file over here, and this is the same process as if you were, you know, bringing in an, uh, any other type of, you know, different CAD system file that you've got. So first of all, when we go to the import dialog box, you'll see there's two different types, a reference model and a convert model. So um, the reference model, so you can any CAD this in or convert to model. So I'm just going to go convert model because I don't want uh, any of the links uh, reverting back to that. And then the import method, we can do a multi-body, an assembly, or as a mesh as well. And we can also import parameters or custom I properties that we've had. Uh, same thing, inventor length units from source, you can change the, uh, the units as well. And then also when saving it, you can attach a prefix or a suffix. So maybe suffix dash, uh, let's say IFC. And then where are you going to save it to? Now, one of the things you can do is you can just take a look at um, what the model is going to look like. So if I go to the classes tab, it will then go and import this model uh, with all the different components in it. So there we go. So there's my IFC model over here. Now I can say, well, don't select anything, or you can then go turn on and off any of these different elements that have come in from the IFC. I just want that over there. Let's take a look at it. Looks good. Okay. So once that's done, uh, we can also go to the select and we'll see what actually is getting brought in and how it's being brought into uh, Inventor. So you'll see there's a bit of a folder structure and then the, um, the assembly, folder structure assembly. So you can see how it sort of nails down into the Sovia and then the names as well. So this is going to be the the structure that it's going to bring it into Inventor. Once that's done, I can select OK, and it will be import it into Inventor. Now, with importing, so what this does, it actually imports it in, and it's now not linked at all to my uh, to the IFC. If I had done the uh, the reference, then if I had to change the IFC, it would then also be able to update it into this Inventor model over here. So now that we've got this, if I double click on it, you'll see that it'll go into each of the different sub-assemblies. And let's just take a look and see what's been brought in. If I go to my view, let's go half section view. So with that half section view, I'm just gonna go and select my plane over here Oopsie, wrong one okay and there you can see it's has brought it in over there and i can now go and see what was created and i can use this now to go and start creating all my components maybe I want to do something in the bathroom over here or get my own furniture in or cupboards etc and so this is a great a new way to to be able to um, create or you know sort of interact with uh, so the architectural software packages now if you do want to export out to IFC um, that's a little bit different so we go to our environments and then you can do BIM content as well so with the BIM content once you've you know you can go simplify it you can export your building components and with that over there you're able then to choose your IFC component or file type. After selecting the export building components, um, you know, Inventor will analyze the object and just see, you know, how complex is it? And the more complex it is, the longer it's going to take to save out to the IFC. So it just pops up a little message using a substitute is recommended for reducing the model complexity to meet BIM content requirements because there are different levels of BIM content that are required when working with uh, these uh, you know, sort of BIM. 
Um, would you like to exit and create one with Simplify Substitute, which is up in the top left? I'm not going to. I just want to show you where it is to create it as an IFC. So I'm going to go no. Ask me where would I like to save it. Oh. And... Okay, so saving is a Revit file. Um, just if you had gone previously back there under files of type, I uh, should have chosen IFC and they would have been able to save it as that. But there are three different types of files that um, that you are able to to export as. Uh, let's just show you again. So it's IFC, a uh, Revit family file, or an alias case. So I'm just going to export building again. Let's go no. And at the bottom there, you'll see there IFC 2x3, a uh, Revit family file, RFA, or an Autodesk Exchange file, alias case. So there are the three different types of files that you can save. And then you are able then to go and give this to your architect who is then able to use that in their models. Thanks very much for watching.